Let's move along to one of our favorite series, and that is The Dish, which today introduces us to a pit master making his mark on Texas barbecue. Grant Pinkerton, he didn't study cooking before starting his Pinkerton's barbecue business in a mm. gym parking lot. Now it stretches from Houston to San Antonio and has racked up tons of culinary awards along the way. Our Janice Shamlian spoke with Pinkerton over the summer and learned his personal achievements are even bigger than his barbecue. The summer heat of Texas is no match for the pit room of Pinkerton's barbecue. And Grant Pinkerton's customers willingly wait in triple digit temperatures. All right, welcome in, guys. How are you, sir? But what's becoming one of the most celebrated barbecue spots? That's good. In a state full of award winners. We cook with nothing but wood. There's Not no bad for a guy who earned a college no degree gas, in writing. No you had no cooking experience. None, zero. Completely self taught. Um, I read one barbecue cookbook growing up. It was called The Legends of Texas uh, Cookbook. Fresh out of school, living with his parents, and grilling in the backyard. He floated the career idea by mom and dad. What's their response? Well, they thought the food was pretty good. <laughs> Seeing their support behind me made me feel that it was okay to be a 25-year-old or 26-year-old living on his parents' sofa still where everybody else had professional corporate jobs. He'd been working at a gym, then sold barbecue from a trailer in the gym parking lot, opening Pinkerton's Barbecue in this building in 2016, quickly packing the place amid rave reviews for his take on familiar dishes. Brisket, pulled pork, and classic sides are all on the menu, along with a twist on ribs. These are going to be slightly sweet. They're going to finish with a very subtle heat on the back end. This isn't a traditional Texas rib. That would just have salt and pepper on it. But like when I got into this, I said, when I'm going to make barbecue, I'm going to make it like I like to eat it. Mm -hmm. And this is how I like to eat my ribs. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Not bad. Mm, not bad. Within two years, he'd been named to the Forbes 30 under 30 food and drink list. The first pitmaster ever selected, in part for what he did after Hurricane Harvey in 2017, when much of Houston was underwater and in the dark. I put a sign on the front door that said, come hell or high water, we're going to have liquor, AC, and barbecue. Through the course of the next three or four days, we were feeding first responders around the clock. But as Pinkerton was publicly building his career in barbecue, Privately, he was battling the demons of addiction. In a social media post this summer, the 34-year-old revealed he'd reached a milestone 10 years of sobriety after an addiction to heroin and prescription pills, one that ended before he opened his restaurant. And you pretty much laid it on the line. Why did you do that? I just see so many families that are devastated by addiction. And I wanted to help destigmatize addiction. Every other disease we have, it's okay to talk about treating it, but if you're an addict that's using drugs, most people just want to walk away. Pinkerton wrote he'd been silent for too long. The message has been viewed several hundred thousand times. What's the last couple months been like since, since you put that out there? Well, I don't have to um, turn down beers anymore when people come in here, <laughs> come into my restaurant and say, oh, can I buy you a beer? I said, I don't have to deal with that anymore, so I'm pretty happy about that. But it's been awesome. Every day I get a message from somebody else. Now with a second restaurant. Big, one pound. More than 90 employees. And a couple of world championship barbecue titles to his name. This is going to be okay. the money bite right there. That's the money bite. I'm so oh, mm-hmm. That's the money. Mm -hmm. Pinkerton, a husband and new dad to 10-month-old Charlotte, is becoming known not just for creating perfection in the pit, but for reminding us it's okay not to be perfect. I was afforded um, another chance at life. Right? And so my philosophy is every day we're going to wake up, we're going to try to help somebody else. A pit boss bringing the heat. How am I doing? Perfect. Looks great. And shining a light. For CBS Mornings, I'm Janet Shamlian in Houston. Bravo, Grant Pinkerton. Yeah. Just another reason to take a trip to Texas. That looks, he knows what he's doing. He knows exactly yeah. what he's doing. Oh, I could lick the screen. No matter yeah. what, those dishes always leave me salivating. Yeah, yeah, but I like his backstory, yeah. though. Yeah. That he's overcome and wants to destigmatize. Yeah. People know yeah, he got a second chance. Talk about paying it forward. He's certainly doing that, too. Just goes to show you, if you exercise your demons, yes. you can end up on the other side of success. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. And that's what he's doing right now. That was awesome.